Hello and welcome back to the second and final part of this video where I'm going to be covering basically just the last finishing touches of this figure. You might be able to tell that I've repainted the red, I've matte coated the blue and he's got some articulated toes on there. And you can see that this figure actually gets into the four point stand that most Spider-Man figures from Marvel Legends don't seem to be able to get into. And I think this might be the first MCU Spider-Man that can actually get into a believable pose like this. Um, yeah, quite impressive that the articulation is actually good once you've fixed it, and to some degree, obviously, I modified mine a little bit. But realistically, if you ignore the head, this figure should be able to get into this pose anyway, and obviously, the articulated toes. But anyway, um, let's go on with what I actually did to get the figure to this point from the last video. So, I've tried to keep in as much of the painting process here. I've literally only edited out where I've taken the brush off screen to uh, dip it in paint again. So every single square has been individually painted. I didn't want to do all the red and then go and redo all the black. So over Christmas, whenever I had a little bit of spare time, which was very rarely, I had like no spare time while I was on holiday. Um, I was either catching up with friends or seeing family or getting other stuff done. So it was a manic Christmas period for me. Uh, even on the holiday Still enjoyed it, but obviously I didn't get to do as much as I thought I'd be able to do in regards to this sort of thing But yeah, so finally managed to catch up with finishing this. This was the final square I had to paint And I just wanted you guys to see how long it takes to actually paint a square and Then just look at the entire figure and think about how many hours it took me to paint this figure up Would it have been faster to paint all the red and then go over the black Possibly would I have had to be more careful and maybe do more touch-ups as I went? Absolutely. I just really got bored of repainting web lines. I do it all the time. Um, obviously with my Etsy I'm painting web lines quite a bit. So I thought I'd try a different method. And I actually kind of enjoyed this as something quite therapeutic. Because I'm also thinning these black lines because they were way too bold on the original one. They are too thick. And it's made a massive difference to the face. It's not really made a huge difference everywhere else, but the face was the main issue with the lines being too thick. Now, of course, you're welcome to skip to the end of the video and just see uh, how it looks when it's fully painted and finished. But yeah, this is this is exactly how this kind of paint system goes. It is tedious, it is long, and yeah, it's a tiny brush, so it, it was a lot of repainting. But with that done, that is now all of the red repainted after probably weeks of touching it here and there. Um, one thing I haven't done, or two things I haven't done, or I suppose four things if it's pairs. I haven't done the hands and I haven't done the feet. I suppose more than four because he comes with alternate hands. But yeah, here's the paint I'll use. I haven't done the hands or feet because I want to check and keep them for paint references and colour reference for the Etsy stuff that I sell. Because I want to make sure that I'm still referencing the correct colour for the stuff I sell. Yeah, there's the paints I use. I always show the paints I use in the videos, and there's one video where I forgot ages ago. But yeah, now I'm gonna go and paint the black. Um, off screen, I painted the black on the arms, like the outlines, and it was just the boots left to do. So again, I've left as much of this process in as possible. Obviously, editing out where I take the actual brush off screen. While doing this voiceover, I can imagine this might actually be quite boring to watch. Editing this made it seem like there was so much less time of me applying this black. I didn't actually realise that this is how long it took. This is actually quite mind numbing now that I'm watching it. But yeah, again, anytime I take this brush off screen, I'm cutting that video. Because uh, it's just me re-dipping the brush in some paint. You don't need to see me doing that off screen because it's just me holding the figure still while I dip the brush in paint. But yeah, hopefully this is coming to an end now. God, are all my videos this boring? Well, hopefully the other video that I'm uploading today will also just have a little bit of interest to it. But now I really thought about this and I originally didn't want to, but I did matte lacquer the entire figure. Um, it is very durable. I didn't let dry fully, so I did end up with some paint scrapes that you don't see because I scraped them after filming. 
but yeah, this makes the blue so much nicer as well. I was so worried that the matte coat would ruin the blue and that it wouldn't look as nice. But yeah, this is... It gives it a weird depth that I wasn't expecting. And it obviously makes the red look a bit more like fabric than plastic. I did also go in with a gloss lacquer, like a brush on gloss lacquer, and just hit the whites of the eyes. You can't really tell, but it did bring back the pearlescent sheen that was already in there. Yeah, just look at the way that the matte lacquer brings out the blue. I also just want to say I love the proportions on this figure. I think this figure is great proportion wise. Um, oh yeah, here's the version 2 of the feet that I've been making. The unpainted versions of these are now for sale in the Etsy again, link is always in my description for these, uh, or just for the shop in general. I've fixed the toe hinge so you don't have to worry about the, um, the actual hinge colliding with the feet. It wasn't too big of a deal originally, it would slowly loosen the toe hinge over time, but if you heated it up it would, um, it would stiffen up again. But yeah, you don't have to worry about them loosening anymore, and they actually attach to the figure directly without needing modification. So you heat them up, uh, obviously the same way you removed the original feet, you heat these up a bit and you pop them back over, um, over the socket and they click into place. They rotate just fine. You can see there is a gap at the back of the heel, that's so that you can still get that leverage back because these 3D printed parts are stiffer than the rubbery plastic that Hasbro uses. But they hold their pose as well, you can see there they're supporting the figure on their own, keeping him upright. If you don't want a pair of these, I will be doing painted ones, hopefully around next week. Um, I'm trying to get a load of different bits painted so that I can put batches up uh, weekly of different things. But at the moment there's just the unpainted stuff on the Etsy. But yeah, this guy being able to get into the four, the four point uh, pose, very very happy with this. Obviously he would be able to get into that pose anyway, like without the articulated feet and without the uh, articulation modifications that I made in the last couple videos. But obviously they help. Like the toes being bent kind of adds to the realism of him being in this pose. Because I'm fairly sure he's not got ballet shoes underneath that suit, so there's no need for him to have pointed toes while he's crouching like this. And yeah, without the head modifications that I made, he wouldn't be able to look up properly because they didn't give him enough range. But yeah, very, very happy with how this has come out. Still can't go over how nicely that blue turned out. Uh, but you can also see just how stable he is at actually standing upright. Obviously my hand is a very uneven surface because he's currently just sat on my fingers. And works very well. And I'll just a close up of how thin those black lines are now. If you own the original figure, you'll know how thick those were on his face to begin with. So yeah, I'm much, much happier with the way this guy looks now. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what other kind of videos you want to see. I've got some other stuff lined up, like a black suit, uh, Tobey Maguire. And obviously there's the other video that's up today. It might be at the same time as this video, it might be after. But yeah, thank you for watching.